Cut your paper to the desired size. Fold your paper in half to make folios. It's better to have the edges lined up than the foredge because you can always trim those later. You can also use your bone folder to make a crisper fold. Using a 90 degree angle like the table surface in this brick, line up the text block with the spine edge and the top edge to make sure that your block is square. And then take the two boards that you're going to be using as a press and place them about an inch to an inch and a half away from the spine edge and put binders clips on them. With the glue of your choice, in this case I'm using PVA, glue the spine side folios together. Start from the bottom folio and work up until all the folios are glued. When applying the glue, glue from the edge to about a quarter of an inch inside. Start in the middle of the paper and brush to the ends. This will help glue from getting inside the folios. Make sure that you do not apply glue too far on the inside. Slide your fingers along the joint pieces to ensure they adhere together. Loosen the clips and move them and the binders board to cover the freshly glued spine. This will help keep the paper from wrinkling or warping from the wet glue. Set it aside and let it dry for about 15 minutes if it's straight PVA, 30 minutes if you use a mix, and several hours if you're using Nori. Before you glue the foredge, it's a good idea to mark which pages you're going to glue together. So when you start at the bottom, the very first page will not have one, but the next page will have a dot. Skip a page, and then you'll have a dot. And work your way up through the book. The very last spread will not have any dots on it whatsoever. You can double check this by opening up your book and making sure that the dot is in spreads where there's glue at the spine. If you open it up and there's an open fold, you have the wrong one and you need to recount. Glue the foredge folios together much in the same way that you did the spine. When you've glued the foredge completely, remove the binder's clips and board, move it up to make a press, and let it dry for the same amount of time as you did the spine. When all the glue is dry, you can trim the edges. Make sure that you stroke with the X-Acto knife slowly and gently. Don't push too hard. 